Catherine Kelly is taking you to Houston's first 100% Latino-owned brewery. And Lauren, this is kind of a cool thing they do there. This is really cool. Maybe if I give these guys enough cerveza, they'll start to sing mariachi for us. But we're here in Big Owl Craft Brewery House, and we're going to get the scoop on all the Mexican beers that they have on tap and that they craft here. So, so can I have mine as well for right now? All right, you guys. Salud. More to come on Houston Life. And still to come, ahead of Mexican okay. Independence Day, we are getting a look at a local brewery where you can create your own custom cocktails. Look at Lauren Kelly, pouring like a pro. We're going to chat with her coming up right after this. Next, Lauren Kelly found a local brewery honoring Mexican heritage through their craft beer. Cheers, Lauren. I got you guys. If you've never had a michelada before, wait until you see this. Basically make your own micheladas. Oh my God, and it comes with Mexican candy. Oh my, the selections here are incredible. Oh, muy bien. And we're getting a look inside of this craft brewery when Houston Life returns. Welcome back to Houston Life on this Thursday as we continue to honor Mexican culture for Hispanic Heritage Month. Big Owl Craft Brew House in the Heights is Houston's first 100% Latino owned brewery. We love this with 24 beers on tap and a nano brewery on site for crafting Mexican beers. You are sure to get a sip of Mexican culture in every pour. Lauren Kelly is live from the brewery this afternoon with a look at how you can even create your own custom michelada. And Lauren, all the different colors of drinks you showed us, that's pretty staggering. Let me tell you something. The selection here was pretty much made for me. Victoria, she's one of the co-founders, co-owners here at Big Owl. We've kind of just been talking about the background and how you guys got started, and I love the story. Tell us a little bit, because you just celebrated your, your first anniversary here. We did, yes. Yes, thank tell you very much. Tell us about the brewery. So the brewery, um, my husband, Al, and I, we are um, the first fully owned Latino here in Houston. Um, bar. We're partnered with Turkey Forest, which is Oscar and Louis sitting here. Um, these guys started out brewing at home. We thought, let's start a business. Why not invite them and let's get them going? And that's how we became about. Um, they brew beers here. Um, right now, we currently have a couple, maybe about four or five of them on tap. You've got to come out and try them. You um, should. I've sampled all of them, and I give it the okay. <laughs> Good. But what's yeah. really cool about this is not only do you guys have some fantastic Mexican beers, you have some that are also micheladas. And if, if people don't know what a michelada is, why don't you go ahead and explain it to okay. them? Okay. So a michelada, um, people can create them. Um, we use Micha Mix by um, Space City Snacks, who's um, our guys, Adrian, love them. We use all his um, his flavors. We have lime, mango, um, spicy, the original. The ABCs, it's yeah. a beer with yes. the mix in it, right? Yes. You get to pick your own beer. You get to pick your own beer. Yes, you do. We have 24 beers on tap. You can make a michelada with anyone. Um, oh, my goodness. This is, I mean, this you is you the can, pickle flavor. We have a pickle flavor. Yeah, oh for sure. Gosh. We've had people come out and, and, and do a micha with the stout. So, so it's just it's up to everybody. What I also love is that you let me try a lot of the, the beers that you have on Most tap that have yeah. a Hispanic or Latino background. But yes. I want to point out that this one, maybe you're not completely into a beer flavor. You have one that's called the Bach Fish, and it's made with Kool-Aid. So yes. there really is something for everybody here. What else do we have in and this And this is like? a hard seltzer. So we have here the Turkey Forest, the Thick 30. Um, that one is just an, an awesome just go ahead and sample flavored for beer. You. Yes, okay. right, for sure, right. for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, muy bien. I give that my approval. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, now here we have the, which one was this guy? The Fruity Pellets. Fruity Pellets. Yes, okay. and this is actually from Great Heights. It's a favorite here. We usually keep on oh, tap yeah. something from Great Heights. So thumbs up. Como awesome. se thumbs up? Thumbs up. Oh! Thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, so this is Taco Tuesday. Of course. That is also a favorite. My personal favorite to use with the Micha Mix. Ooh. Um, and that one's from 11 Below. 
Okay, well, I think it's wonderful. And you guys have an event happening tomorrow for Mexican Independence Day, yeah, right? Yeah, so we'll be here from open to close celebrating um, Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, we will be playing Loteria. We'll have um, Hispanic vendors on here from food to dessert. So we'll also be playing some original Loteria. So come by. For people who don't know what Loteria is, it's kind of uh, a Hispanic bingo. It almost, is a Hispanic right? bingo, yes. Okay, yes, it is. Okay. So you get a card, you get a bingo card, and you, we play different ways. You can do a little X, you can do awesome. four corners. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop making a mess. and yeah. cheers to you. Salud, you guys. You make some excellent Hispanic Mexican beers. I'm definitely going to come back because Please you guys do. have just really nailed yeah. it. And congratulations again on everything. Thank you very Derek much. And Courtney, we're definitely going to have to come in here for a happy hour one well, time. Well, yeah, that pickle-flavored michelada sounds <gasps> so delicious. I love anything pickle-flavored. So good. Good stuff, Lauren mm -hmm. Kelly. Well, Cheers, happy guys. Mexican Independence Day.